and the bronze medalist really took it to the eventual champion and it very, very nearly undid his podium position at the end. But the Jamaican youngster was brave enough and bold enough to set the pace and he hung on for a place on the podium. Bruce Ferrara, president of the Commonwealth Games Federation of Montserrat, will be helping with the presentations along with Glynis Dunsterns, board member of the Gold Coast Corporation. And what a fantastic job they've done in the couple of years leading up to this great event. Double world junior champion, world youth champion, youth Olympic champion, now he's delivering on the global senior stage. He went off like an absolute rocket and he managed to hang on for the bronze, out dipping England's Jack Green. A wonderful performance, full of bravery, full of passion, and it's rewarded with the bronze medal. on the outside nobody was noticing Jeffrey Gibson he said he was going to run braver than he did in Glasgow when he picked up the bronze I think he ran smarter than he did in Scotland he timed his drive to the line to perfection and he upgrades his third place finish to a silver here tonight and he can be so so proud of that performance this Caribbean island will also be rightly proud of him. But what a moment this is. With a tinge of sadness, but a huge feeling of pride. Steps forward to receive the first medal in history for the British Virgin Islands. A tiny series of islands that constitute the BBI. He perhaps is a signal of hope that they are in the process of bouncing back from such tragedy and loss. All credit to Xavier Samuels. I'm sure his coach, who died in September, will be remembered fondly tonight. Kyron McMaster delivers a wonderful performance. He will now go on to try and attain global gold next year in Doha. And for the very first time in Commonwealth history, we hear the British Virgin Islands National Anthem. <laughs>